and welcome back. So, have you had your lunch or was it breakfast? What, oh, did you get a little bit of sunshine? Michelle and I sat outside, just all warm through again. It's absolutely gorgeous out there. So we are back now with two hours. This is true crafty inspiration. This, as you can see, just up there, it says it's our first look show. So this is about something that unfortunately you can't quite buy yet. It's going to be on sale on the 19th of June. Our lovely Leanne will be here for the whole day showing you these uh, this new product along with our Ben and hopefully you'll be inspired and she's going to give you so many hints and tips. But in advance of that, I've got Michelle here and she's going to show you equally as much how to get the most out of these sprays and hopefully it'll inspire you and you'll be able to sit and wait just enjoy them and then come in and get these on the 19th of June when they go live so what am I talking about I've given you a clue I put it down here these are our new shimmer sprays so so exciting and we're going to have a look at those um, in a lot more detail but I think we've got a lot of people really excited to see these so our Rachel has gone for the day and we've got our Susie on the socials otherwise it's all the same as earlier although we have got Liam in now because he's here to help me do um, a hobby maker show in um, two hours time so we should need to go and do that but we've also got Alicia Gordon saying good um, good morning greetings from Arkansas Lois is good morning from Ohio oops it's jumped um, we have got Marianne Rosie from Alberta Evie B from Kansas City Missouri. Um, Kimberly Fisher says hello from Wiki Watchy. Yes, I think that's right. Wiki Watchy in Florida. Oh, Susie's really excited to see the shimmer sprays. Kathy Myers is um, in Missouri. We've got Sue L. Hi from Sunny Torquay. It's the annual air show today and the planes have started going over, so it's a bit noisy. Oh, I've got certain little young man in my family that would like that. Zoe Carver says, afternoon, everyone. Mary Beth Dorsey says hi everyone from Minnesota oh your Ben's watching he's um good afternoon everyone from a sunny sea polling polling sea polling sea polling there you go um we've got our Margaret Frischner good morning from a cool literally Montana and Stephanie Theodos good morning from Farmingdale I think that's New Jersey so there we go lots of people already in and ready to go with this so I'm over here, my side's all nice and clean and tidy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know what's over on that side. But no, our lovely Michelle, she's here. I can see her busying around. She's getting lots ready. This is all going to be about techniques, isn't it? It's not about demo, finished projects. No. It's about techniques. Um, definitely not. I thought we don't want finished cards we just want to see all the different things that you can do with these so I've got I've got loads of stuff lined up under here we look look what we even got found out for me do we remember do you actually I've never seen Brenda before <laughs> I've never seen her absolutely I, how I thought it she was going to look she's a little worse for wear I've got to say but she does the job so so are all of us who work <laughs> hard. So we, do. we no, know how, how she feels. feels. We know how she feels. <laughs> so there we go. So yes, yeah, so we're going to be showing that now. I've got a few um, cards here. Uh, have you got a few bits and pieces under your counter that you can show us? I think um, I have. Have you got like a swatch? I'll just show you. So these, all of these, have been made by our lovely Julia. She brought them in today, ready for later on. So look at this. She has. It says on here. She's put duet ink pad all over a cardstock. She sprayed golden sunflower and sunset bronze on onto bubble wrap then place the card on top of the uh, bubble wrap and then just giving it a rub over so she's got that bubble wrap impression and you can see how that just shimmers but also with the duet ink pad now this one is really clever she's spritzed with deep deep sea shell pink golden heather summer meadow and golden sunflower she split spritzed through a stencil then placed card over the top and used the brayer to get the negative so almost using you know picking up what is left 
on the stencil. Just that that one. Oh, they. Oh, I saw you there. Look at that. These look amazing on black. And apparently, even the flowers have been made using cardstock that she's then spritzed with the shimmer sprays. Look beautiful. Made. Oops. Uh, squishy. Uh, you know, splashy background there by Golden Heather and Golden Sunflower. Just onto your cardstock. This one's really clever. So this one. Um, she's wet the card first and then sort of sprayed in an arc to follow the shape of the embossing folder pattern which I think looks really lovely again here using the um, the inks to create the background sort of like that ombre so we've gone from it says we used firelight sparkle sunset bronze and golden sunflower so you can see how it goes down those colors and then again on the background here this is embossed, so just picking up all of that embossed with those sparkles. And I love this one because, again, it's duet ink pads. So you're using the waterfall and the soft heather, waterfall and soft heather, and then putting over celestial map over the top and royal velvet over the bottom. So using the sort of corresponding um, shimmer pad over the duet ink pad. That looks to me like a really rich sky, doesn't it? It looks, the depth in there, that's just how you add that extra depth. But then spritzing it onto the card blank as well, just so that it's not plain white lovely ideas we love those and thank you to julia for sharing those so that sort of gives you a clue of what you've got and i've set them all up here i'm just going to move over here so you can see there's 10 in total and you're going to get ice silver gold dust sunset bronze deep seashell pink firelight sparkle golden sunflower summer meadow celestial map royal velvet and golden heather now i'm not going to talk to you about the the shimmer sprays and what's in them i'm going to let our michelle do that but you can see you're going to be getting let me see if i can read it, 50 ml bottle 10 50 ml bottles so you're going to get 500 ml of gorgeous sparkle goodness and believe you me look at these these have been stood but that mica still held in the suspension absolutely perfectly it doesn't settle it holds beautifully so Michelle tell us all about these she's so excited <laughs> I don't know where to start so excited I'm so excited I'm clapping like a two-year-old um let me we'll explain them a little bit so obviously they're a shimmer spray obviously they are jam packed full of that mica um, so let me literally, I think the first thing we will do is I'm just going to spray them onto some black card and just to some white card, just so you can see how they lay down, how they come out. Um, so all I have done is I've picked up my celestial map for now. So you just, each bottle just tend to spray a little bit different. So that one, you're not going to pick up so much on there. But if you just pump your, again, it's a shimmer spray, so pump it a little bit, you're going to get a different um, spray coming out to if you full, go full on. So let's, on this one, put one that you probably, probably, get my words out right, I'm too excited, be able to see more. Oh, yes. So you can see, you can see how differently they play on each colour card. So you can put these onto any card stock that you've got. Um, if you've got Accenture a, pearl, a, a coated card, Obviously, your mirror card, things like that, it's not going to go very well on. It's going to go lovely on your glitter card because it's going to soak in nice and well. Have a play about with all your different kind of card stock. Um, your papers, we showed you earlier, they go over your paper. So this is m one of my... Can you see it on Oh, there? yes. Just what's yep. on that um, Bohemian collection? So, so they're water-based, but they're not going to damage your cardstock. So they're water-based, and I'm just using my normal multi-purpose card, or you can see my black. Um, it sits on there beautifully. It doesn't soak in. It's not warping my card. So nearly everything that I've used, I've used on just this multi-purpose cardstock. I'm not going to get rid of them at all. I'm going to put them to the side. I'm going to let them dry because I'm absolutely going to use those later. Uh, you're not going to waste anything that you are using these on. So let me just grab my stencil. 
So I think the first thing I'll show you is how they go through a stencil. Uh, again, because they're water-based, you can, you can paint with these, you can do so, so many different techniques that you're going to be able to do with maybe, look at my stencil, just look, <laughs> because I didn't clean my stencil off. Oh dear. If I put that into some warm water, it's going to clean off. But how beautiful does my stencil look <laughs> with those inks on it? So I think the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to, I think at, at its base, besides the fact that you're just going to spray your backgrounds, I think the one thing that you are going to do is you're going to use it through your stencils. Now I've stick and spray, this is the one, isn't it? Yes, for my stamps and stuff. So I tend to use this. Let's bring Brenda in so I don't make too much of a mess. Because you can still see, can't you? If I bring her in, you can still see from um, above. Oh, you can. Oh, I like that. Right, so I'm going to pop my piece of card. So I've just cut a piece of card down. And I've got one of these stencils that um, have just recently been released, which are absolutely gorgeous. So you can see that that's going to sit on there beautifully. Um, when you're spraying straight down, it's going to go through the stencil, but what you might find is it might pull a little bit underneath your, your stencil. So what I'm going to do, in fact, what I'm going to do first is let's add a little bit of ink. So we're going to bring in some of our water reactors. I've got just a pink, so my pink tulip, and I've got my ocean blue. So a little bit like earlier, let's add some ink to this background. You're clearly a square dauber lady. Well, I wasn't. I was a round one, but then I used these and I actually found that I really enjoy using these as well. Uh -huh. um, and it shows you it all naturally go one way or the other, I yeah. think. I've only been using these, I think, a couple of months. Yeah. Normally, when uh, if I'm at home, I've, I've just got all the circle ones. But um, coming up here, I was um, looking for one a little while ago, and I couldn't find the end to go with the colour, so I yeah. picked up one of these square ones. And I actually really liked the way I could uh, use my, obviously, my inks and blend with it. So um, I, I'm a little bit, I'm not too fussy. Give me anything and I'll make it work. No, that's, that's, it, it's good to show different ways, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So just inking this background up, I've, again, so I use my ocean blue and I've used my pink tulip. Entirely up to you, you know, depending on what card you're making. So let's just pop these and then we'll bring in Brenda. So let's pop her there. And I'm going to pop that down. So I am going to spray on the back of mine. Um, I feel that it just helps. Yeah. So I'm not going to spray too much. I'm going to pop it down. I'm going to try and leave a bit of a border all the way around the edge. There we go. And then give that a good. I found it, obviously, it doesn't stick it down, you know, stick it down stuck. But you do get a much better finish, don't you, with that little bit of spray? Yeah, you do, definitely. So I'm going to bring in these two. I have got some my Celestial Map and my Golden Heather. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I give it a good shake. You can hear it, can't you? And then we're just going to spray it. So you can see, you can see straight away from my stencil what it is that I'm going to be doing. So you can either go straight above or on an angle. I think if you go straight above, you've got no risk of sort of that jet, that spray going under your stencil. So there we go. So that's the oh, blue. Now, I don't know if you, you can't see for the shadow, I think, with Bender, but straight away, all that gold that's in these, that gold mica, is just... Just because we've had a question from Charlotte saying, are they all gold shimmer based? They have all got a gold apart shimmer. Apart from the in, white, the apart from one. the white. I think that's just a silver, yeah. isn't it? But all the others, yeah, they're the all gold. definitely gold. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. I don't know whether that was a good point or not, um, <laughs> but yes, um, lots of lo the, the question came in: Are they are all of them gold shimmer based? Well, yes, apart from the. The, um, the, the, the iced silver. Yeah. I keep calling it white, but yeah, iced silver. Yeah. 
Right, so let's, I've brought in my deep seashell pink. We're going to pop that on. And again, right, so straight away, you can see mine's not spraying. So I'm going to address this straight away. Um, let me just wipe that off. Because of the mica, and in any shimmer spray that you get, because the mica, um, it's in the liquid, your um, tops, your little spray bit, is going to get clogged up. Um, because you've got all that bits of glitter, that bit, uh, bits of mica. It's not a problem, you're just going to take it off, you're going to rinse it in some warm soapy water um, and it's going to unclog it. And it's as simple as that. But uh, again, Leanne uh, is going to be doing the launch. Leanne's also going to be doing a little video with all the hints and the tips and the aftercare. I think we've got to remember that when you do anything mixed media, so anything with glitter paste, anything with shimmer sprays, anything that, that is that kind of um, product, there is a, an element of before and after care that you need to go through. So with these, you need to you know, clean your nozzles when you've used them. With your glitter paste, you know you need to make sure that they're sealed properly. So with anything that you're gonna be using mixed media, you're going to have that element of looking after it. I think we all have got, gone to our glitter paste or our texture paste. We haven't sealed them off properly and they've gone as hard as a rock. So it's the same for these. Uh, look after your bottles, you know, put that little bit of aftercare or before care in uh, and it's absolutely fine. But there's so many other ways that you can be using them except for the spraying. So we're going to go through those as well. Um, another reason that I like to decant um, not because I'm lazy. Sometimes when you've got your bottle and you've decanted, if mine's clogged and I don't want to get up straight away, I can go to my decanted one, finish off, and then go clean my nozzles. So again, just all that aftercare, before care, Leanne's going to cover for you. So we're going to go to my decanted one. So we're just going to add that. And can you see, actually, it sprays a little bit different. And I think every nozzle does. I think it's purely because of the mica in there. You're going to get a different effect every single time. So let's, um, let's lift my stencil up. Let me oh, wow. just pop that there. And we're going to bring this out. Let's just pop this to the side. A lot of love coming in for Brenda. I'm going to go through all the comments in a minute. <laughs> And let's just dry this off a little bit. You see that lovely border that's round mm. the edge because I'd cut it just that little bit bigger. Um, I love that effect. So let's dry this off. I've got some little splodges, which uh, is shimmer spray. You're going to get that. Um, I'd like it. It adds again to, to the whole look and effect of, of using a I shimmer also spray. Like you say, with that border, I just love where the shimmer sprays have caught round the edge as well yeah. to almost look like a matte and a matte layer don't they it does and going in with your heat gun is not going to affect the quality of the shimmer at all no absolutely not in any way shape or form so what i'm going to do is if i lift that up for you can you see you can see oh wow yes the gold coming through um i'm not happy well i am happy with that it's beautiful but we're going to bring this back in i'm going to pop it back in here and I'm going to put my stencil back over it and I'm going to, still got that bit of sticky on the back so it should stick back down exactly in place. Oh, impressive. I don't think I could do that again. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I want to do is I really want to um, deepen that colour that I've got on there. Let's give that a good stick down. I don't want to use my hands because obviously I've got all that wet shimmer on there. And I'm going to go back in. We're just going to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to hold it above. And this time I've got a lot more, lot more splodges come out, which again, um, I like. Just adds oh, you to can that see it's effect. Much deeper. Let's take this off again. Pop oh, that yeah. to the side. And bring that out. So I dried it in between because if I put too much on at once, it's just going to run. Um, so put some on, give it a dry, um, reapply, uh, give it a dry. If you want even more on, you can go in a third time and a fourth time because you're drying it each time in between. I love that bit where the colour changes in the middle. The little, yeah. So it almost, there's that much mica in there, it almost looks texturised. It does. It, 
I, you're exactly right. I'm looking at this because I'm, I'm too far away from you to see um, it close up. So I'm watching it on the screen. And it looks like you've used a texture paste. Yeah. So let me cut the light. It really that. does. Wow. Do now you can way. see it sparkle. Look at the, You can, can see the gold. Look at the gold in that. So that is how to use it with your stencils. And then the only thing I'm going to do, other thing, let me bring Brenda back in. Let me try and keep tidy. Um, I've got this iced white. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I love this just to go over the top. So pop some on. Let me bring that out. And again, let me just give it a bit of a dry because it adds such... Um, depth adding mm. that iced white or iced silver on top it really makes it look so different so let's get that dry it's just they, uh, they just I can't remember the last time I enjoyed a, a mixed media item this much I mean I love our inks and things like that um, I don't tend to go for these kind of things so much but these are just stunning. They I don't know really why. Are. It's all so, about building up those layers, isn't it? It is. It absolutely is. So if I bring in this one that I did yesterday. So the only difference is I didn't ink the background, whereas yeah. I've inked the background today because I want you just to be able to see both. Um, I only went in once with my inks, whereas this time I've sprayed them twice. So just with that it's one big technique, isn't it? yeah, how different does it look? But if you can see, because there's that iced silver mm. over, how amazing that makes it look. So if I just pop this onto a piece of black card, straight away, yeah. popping that onto a card, you need a sentiment on that, yeah, I think, and that is. would be it. That would be all you would need to do. Maybe Absolutely. a matte layer of some gold um, mirror card would really yes. bring out that mica, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for that. So that's your first technique and I'm going to show you some bits in two minutes um, that you might want to pop in your basket now while we've got them. Um, let's just see who else because I've got so many people. We've got Karen Wells Sorrell from Kentucky, Charlotte Everett, good afternoon, um, crafting all my crafting lovelies from Hearn Bay, Arlene Applewhite from Florida, Aunt Cole from Germany, Mary Pat 1000 from, oh, a very wet, rainy Montana. Somebody else said Montana was cold, didn't they? Lynn Blackledge, go live, hashtag go live granny, says good afternoon. Eve B says, you found Brenda, Mary Pat 1000. Brenda is back, woohoo. Um, and Lynn Blackledge says, every crafter needs a Brenda. Gilmo says hello to everyone. Oh, Eve B says, great techniques on those flowers, so shiny. That would be those ones that I was showing you here just by doing over the top they look lovely um mile sabrosa says good morning from westchester new york corinne i love your look this morning thank you that's very kind of you um, betsy throckback says good morning from houston texas lorraine bennett says greetings from a cloudy massachusetts robin m pitt says sir Oh, yeah. Robin M. Pitt says, good morning, everyone. This is Robin from New Jersey, USA. Sharon Capers. I see we have Brenda the Spray Booth back. Yeah. Stephanie, Brenda got fancy. Oh, is she? I don't know. She's got fancy. Um, Carline Samson Samday says, oh, my, Brenda is back. Woo, woo. Um, lots of people have been on. Carletta, good morning from Arkansas. Laurie Barnett from Gilbert, Al oh, uh, Arizona. Jeffrey Langley says happy Saturday to us all. Lillian Kwok says hi everyone. Um, Zoe Carver says, <coughs> sorry, I like Mich what Michelle is wearing today. Where did it come from? Um, Back of the wardrobe somewhere? <laughs> Matalan. Matalan, there you go. It's Thank very you very much. with all the palm leaves and things, isn't it? I really, nice. I, as soon as I saw it, I absolutely loved it. <coughs> the only thing is, I've got a best top on because it would be um, mm. Crafters TV after dark if I hadn't. Yeah, me um, too. Put the, yeah. Me too. I don't know where they expect these clothes to be worn, oh. but yeah, it would be yeah. X-rated otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, seahorse on. 
<laughs> Seahorse on YouTube says, hello, yes, I'm you. Well, welcome, Seahorse. Uh, we're really glad to have you. This is a first look show, because it'll be the first one you've seen. We're not actually selling the main products. I'm about to show you some other products that you can buy. Just be aware our warehouse closed this weekend, so all orders are going to be dispatched from the 12th of June. We're just going through a little bit of a transition, but a brilliant time to join us because things are just getting bigger and better and better better so we have got colleen says morning again from wesley chapel in florida charlotte everett says wowzers that is stunning and it truly is isn't it and heidi Hess says brenda's back and looking good i don't know what she looked like before so uh, but she's nothing she's nothing like my spray booth so it's very different i mean i do mine a different way so let's have a look what we've got so I'm going to show you some duet ink pads. So everything Michelle did earlier, you're going to be able to do with your duet ink pads. But we thought we'd show you the stamps first. So these are beautiful. So it's a four pack, but it's going to give you 22 stamps in total. Can you imagine creating a background? A, oh, well, I think this one is one. This is one. There you go. Look at that. With your shimmer sprays and then stamping these stamps over the top so this one is the fairy glade absolutely beautiful then we've got oh, I love this one the majestic mandalas and again use little bits of it use it all our Leanne does advocate if you want to going in and trimming down your stamps if you want to make them smaller it's something I've never actually done I don't know if I'm brave enough I love this one the magnificent butterflies now that to there is one stamp so that there is one stamp so you're going to get this beautiful beautiful impression as you can see on here time after time and again i don't know whether she's going to show us now but michelle was talking about stamping with your shimmer inks and uh, imagine doing something like that with your shimmer inks beautiful and then this one is your wild flower meadow isn't that beautiful so that's the one i'm pretty certain that our julia has used on there doesn't that work beautifully little bit of background and your sentiments as well now these today are 30 pounds seven pound 50 a set seven pound 50 a set amazing or 35 dollars but that platinum price is going to drop to 24 pounds or 28 dollars so if you want those snap those up now and they will be winging their way to you just over a week's time now did you, were you inspired by what Michelle was doing with the stencils? If you were, you might want to stock up on some stencils. And I can promise you, this set of stencils is absolutely amazing. I've got them and I really use them so much here. So it's a four pack, but each pack has three stencils in it. So you're going to get 12 stencils in total. So look at this one. You've got your waves. You've got sort of your cross hatch, a bit like... Um, Te fabric texture so this is all really textured and then you've got your gingham check as well so this one is called textile trio but can you see how they stencil up just like that which is beautiful the next one i'm going to show you is our decorative trio how wonderful is that going to go with those mandala stamps and i love this one that wasn't what is that the one you've just done then no it isn't is it or is it no no, similar, similar. but um, ah, I can see it's further back, further back. Then look at this one. This is your stylish trio. Now, I've seen loads of people using this stencil. It's so popular. I don't think you could ever have enough spotty stencils. They are so useful. Now, remember, I did a show last weekend, and I was actually using some of these stencils. You don't have to use the whole stencil. If you're doing them with your inks, then just use a small element of them. Just add a little bit of texture. Mask off the area that you want to do. Maybe you could get a piece of card and cut a circle aperture in it and lay it over the top so that you can only um, stencil with a circle or something. There's so many ways. And then finally, I think this is the one that Michelle was just using. It's from our Opulent Trio. Now, why is that one different? These have been put onto white card. You can't see them very well. Why did somebody change that round and do it that way? Let's have a look down at the bottom. So you can <laughs> see you've got these gorgeous ones and that's the one pretty certain that Michelle has just used. All the roses, all the sort of damask look as well. 
If you want all of those, this is £30 as well, $35, or £24, $28 if you're a pre, um, platinum member. So again, £7.50 per set of three stamps, stencils, £2.50 per stencil, £2.50 for each of those, which is amazing, amazing value. So snap it up and you'll be able to see through yours even better. Right, so what else do you need and these again are going to really really enhance your um shimmer ink pads and that has to be the duet ink pad um collection now this is our latest collection of ink pads if i turn it around there you can see all of the colors down here now they're in our new ergonomically shaped ink pad holder ink pad yeah yeah, whatever you want to call it. Now, these are brilliant because if they work, I'm not going to take the top off, otherwise I'll be covered in ink. They sit in your hand, so if you want to go in with detail, you can go in with detail like that. If you want to go in with lots of ink, you can hold it like that. They still sit perfectly. Our ink trays, they're still fitting perfectly in there with the colour swatch showing at the end. I've got so many ink pads where I haven't got that colour swatch at the end, and it is so annoying because my ink pads are actually on quite a high shelf so i'm ending up having to get loads out to find the one that i want now you're going to get i'll show you the colors on here you're going to get should we go around there you're getting your raspberry ripple which is here absolutely now these are a water-based um ink pad they're reactive they're a hybrid water ink pad so you're going to be able to do lots and lots of techniques with these all your water-based techniques spring buds which is there you can see how beautiful they look rosy apple right up here that's a really sort of orange red beautiful waterfall is gorgeous there we go look at waterfall you can see how it's all right looking at that because that's a printed image this is actually the true ink so these have been cut using the ink you've got lemon meringue just up there and then you've got sailor's wake what wonderful names i love the names of these very sea based isn't it you can see on there awakening forest is next to that just here lovely khaki green maybe as opposed to your grassy green sunrise glow but look at these can you just see as you're going across here how you're going to be able to ombre you're going to be able to ombre from the yellow through the orange through the clementine through the rosy apple and get those amazing effects sweet clementine which i just mentioned just there soft heather again works brilliant with these one down and then we've got midnight mist as well aren't they absolutely beautiful now if you want all 12 of these 70 pounds or 99 dollars if you're platinum 56 pounds or um 79 dollars 20 so that is coming in at under that's coming in at under five pounds a um ink pad brilliant it's coming in four pounds 66 i think if my math is correct so absolutely brilliant value for a brand new ink pad concept so you're going to be able to do all your water base your blending your resists your um what's the uh, where you uh what's the word i was lifting up the right. color when you what do we do it we're bleaching faux yeah, bleaching. bleaching see there we go and you'll get there eventually words <laughs> who needs them who needs them but if you like the technique that michelle was showing you where you're going to lay your ink down first and use your sprays then make sure you pick these up so michelle i've run out of words for a few minutes i need to recharge <laughs> my word count up what are you going to show us next I, 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 Nicola went, you, you might need to help, Corinne. I was so distracted by the pretty stuff next to me that I, I was oblivious. It's fine. It's absolutely <laughs> fine. I forgive you. But what I want to show you actually is, so this is my stencil that I was using. Let me show you that way. Oh, sorry. yeah. So that has dried on there. So if you've got acetate, look at, the, look at that on there. If you've so got it look, acetate, it's, it's gonna dry going, acetate. It's going to dry absolutely perfectly. Um, I would, I think on acetate, maybe set it with some hairspray. Um, but it's dried on there. Look. It's dried on there perfectly. So if you've got acetate, these are absolute. Obviously, it's going to take a while to dry. It's going to work on your acetate. Um, so I just had, that's why I was distracted. So I just had to show you that. 
So I've just got, again, I've just got a piece of card. I've just cut it down. It's just eight inches wide. Um, and I've picked four of my colours. So I've got the deep seashell. I've got the golden sunflower. I have got the Mediterranean map. And then I have picked my summer meadow. So almost rainbow-esque. So then all I'm going to do with these is I'm going to spray it onto my glass mat. So again, you can see that mine, I, I think that's still the one that I'm a little bit clogged up on. Do need, don't forget, you just need to clean out your little spray uh, nozzle and you're good to go. So let's, I love the noise that it, they make when you sh um, shake them. Yes, very satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just spraying, I'm just going along a little. You can see, especially in the blue, you can see that mic and it sort of pulls off. It Sorry, looks... I was reading comments. You're spraying them next to each other deliberately? Yes. Right. Yeah. There we go. So it's on the glass mat, so I know that that's not going to dry at all. Um, it's not quite as wide as my piece of card. Absolutely doesn't matter. Maybe let's bring in the purple on the end just to finish that off. There we go. That's so then, Merlot, I think that one, isn't it? Yeah, they are all gorgeous. So let me just take the lid off of this. So Michelle, I've got, could you really? My big brush doesn't fit in otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as scared as everyone else. Trust me. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, you can see that I've got that lovely rainbow of colours. I've got my really big brush. Um, go into, I know it's my all purpose or my multi purpose, but I'm going to wet it just a little bit. Now, because I'm not going to wet it too much, I don't need to worry. If you want to use your watercolour card, absolutely you can. But that's all I'm going to do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to push that right up to there and I'm just going to bring it over. Take a bit of that red off and then bring in my yellow. Take a little bit of that off. I'm just going to swoop my blue down, go over to my green, and then I'm going to go in with that lovely purple. And then I'm just going to move it. And straight away, I've got that gorgeous, um, that's exactly what I want. I want those. Um, brush marks because when all these dry where that's a little bit thicker you're going to get a pooling of the gold around the edges and it looks absolutely amazing so I'm going to pop that there because we're not going to um, we're not going to waste that so I'm just going to drag it out a little bit with my brush I'm going to move that water far far away and I'm going to bring in a piece of just plain card you can see I've already done it on the other side so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add to that don't want to waste any of it at all so even if it's a scrap piece of card that you pick up to do this with um, put it to one side and one day it will come in yes this type thing. Yeah, yeah definitely lift that up and it's picked most of it up there's a tiny little bit left on there I'm just going to wipe that away um, but you can see so can you see here where that's quite dark you've got a mm. pooling of that that gold mica Wow. So you get these beautiful, oh, wow, almost veins of mica running through where it dries. And that with one of those that? stamps just stamped over the top that in black would look yes. amazing. Absolutely. Stamping over the top in black. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to dry this. And again, you see it doesn't take too long to dry, to be honest. Um, dries quite quickly. You can see it hasn't warped my card at all. Now, even if I'd used watercoloured card, that would have bowed a little bit. But you can see as I dry it, there's no warping. Um, I haven't got none, no bitterness from, you know, where the water affects your card. It just, it dries absolutely beautifully. Just turn it over to flatten it out a little. You can see that look at the mica can you see it look at it all yeah so you can see where you get those deeper lines where there's more color left um 
the effect it gives you is just, it's stunning. It absolutely is. So Corinne was saying, and I was saying earlier, that you can stamp with these. So let's pop this on. Obviously, you need to make sure that this is dry enough. So we're going to pop that on here. I'm thinking a large sentiment cut down from that so you go through all the colour rainbows. Would yes. Be beautiful. Absolutely. So I've literally just grabbed a few items from my stash. So it's the Delightful Daisies mm -hmm. and it's the stamp from this. So we're going to lay it there just as we would if we were going to ink as normal. And I'm going to bring in... Let me just... So I was just checking, I've got just a spare piece of card next to me, just checking to see if it was spraying. Right, so what I'm going to do is, what I tend to do is when I'm spraying like this, I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to spray towards it. I just can find that it just aims a lot better. So I'm going to pop that over and then we're just going to stamp it down. Is there an urgency? No. No, it's, it stays wet enough for long enough from you doing that to mm -hmm. sort of stamping it on here. Oh, wow. So the more water, oh, so the more ink you add, the more blended out it's going to get. Um, and I, I love it. I absolutely love that. It just looks gorgeous. Again, I've got a few little drips, which is absolutely fine. This one that I did yesterday... It has no drips because I didn't spray as much. Mm -hmm. I sprayed a little bit more today just to show you the difference um, that you can get. I like today, strong colours. Yes, strong colours, yeah. These were all my practice ones. Um, but again, so I've got that spare piece of card there that's drying beautifully. You're absolutely not going to uh, waste that at all. Then if I so just a bit of black card to pop behind it, just so it pops more for you to see. But there is so much gold on there. That so much makes the gold stronger. Yeah, it really does. Mm. So even that stamped image, it's got all that gold mica in. It's because it's that thin outline. You're not losing anything. It's there you go. Look, it's all still there on that stamped image. Wow. So using them as, as paints and then stamping with them and you get that most beautiful effect. You really do. That is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm loving that. Doesn't black look really good with things like that? We always say black is so useful. So we have also got Jane L. Staffy from South of France. Hello, Jane. Linda Armstead says, good morning from Maryland. Beth Below says, I just love stencils, so much fun. So do I, Beth. I really, really love that. Emily Drew Hot says, hi from Louisiana. Right, uh, Michelle, quick question for you from Colleen. She says, what size is A3 and what size is A4 for us in the US? Trying to find the size, what paper do I need to buy so I can make a 7x7 or an 8x8 card to just cut and fold? So A4 or A3 to make a um, seven by seven or eight by eight um so at a three yeah um is that th i'm trying to work it out on here oh, so a four is eleven eight and a half inches wide by just over 11 inches in height i think you know i think actually i think it's 8.2 by 11 yeah, it is. So you've got 11 and 6 eighths by 8 and 2 eighths. Yeah, so 8 and a quarter by, by 11 and 3 quarters. Yeah. And an A3 is two of those. So where, what was the width of that? 8 and... 8 and 2 eighths, or so 8, eight and, and a quarter, quarter and so 11 and 3 quarters. So that's going to be 16 and a half inches wide by 11 and 3 quarter inches Hi. So A3 is going to give is going to be able to allow you to make a seven by seven and an eight. Yes. Not the same sheet. A seven by seven or an eight by eight card. You won't get either of those out of A4. I hope that helps, Colleen. So just remember, eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters, and then A3 is two of those side by side. So that hopefully that should help you to do that one. So there we go. There. Thank you, Michelle, for putting that on the mat. Right, now, I have got a mystery bag here. Mystery, because I've not been through it yet. I could have gone through that while Michelle was doing it. This is a sentiment mystery bag. Right, okay. So you are going to get 
your Christmas die. Now, the link between here, the commonality on this bag is sentiment. They're going to go through all of the occasions. It's not occasion themed or collection themed. It's themed by sentiment. So you're going to get your set Christmas um, die and then you're going to get all of the extras that are going to support the word Christmas in stamp form. You're going to get your, um, say it with flowers, your sentiment stamps that go with that, really brilliant. You're going to be getting your Say It With Flowers Happy Birthday die. It's a two layer die. It's really lovely is that one. Your masquerade ball stamps. You're going to be getting your fancy sentiments in the thanks very much. And you saw Michelle earlier use the happy birthday version of that on one of hers. You've got a chalkboard stamp. You have got two of your um, punch tag stamps as well this is for you but i wish it was mine a special gift you never knew you wanted and finally you're going to get your confetti stamps we call it from those pop-up boxes and this is going to give you loads of bits from sentiments and images like your rings you're going to get dyes in the hearts and all of those now there's just shy of 60 pounds or nearly 82 dollars worth of value in this bundle if you're platinum you're going to get it for 20 pounds or 28 dollars you're going to get nearly as your platinum member you're going to get just around 60 percent knocked off this which is phenomenal value so if you want that sentiment bag just to enhance um, what you've got even if you maybe have one or two that you could then gift out as spares or as gifts it's so worth the value for 20 pounds or 28 dollars as a platinum member so make sure you grip grab that now now next we're going to go and have a quick club inspire vt so you can see what it's all about welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20 percent of your first order will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Introducing the Gemini 2. Our brand new electronic die cutting and embossing machine has all the power and precision of the original Gemini but with updated functions and innovative new features. Faster and quieter than ever before, the Gemini 2 does all the hard work for you. Cut out the most intricate designs in seconds and all at the touch of a button. Technology to apply higher pressure than many other machines offers perfectly crisp and clear results every time. The Gemini 2 has the power to take creative projects of all shapes and sizes in its stride. It will cut through a range of materials from card and paper to cork, thin metal, leather and multiple layers of fabric. So you can save time on your paper craft, sewing and multimedia projects. A new and improved optical sensor runs the full length of its 9-inch platform, offering edge-to-edge -edge precision with cutting plates of any size. Pause, rewind and resume functions take the guesswork out of crafting. Smooth gliding feet make light work of moving and manoeuvring your Gemini 2. And a turntable offers 360 degrees of crafting freedom. Neat storage compartments hold craft tools so they're always at your fingertips right when you need them. A built-in media stand and three USB charging points invite you to craft along with your favourite tutorials and workshops on your tablet or phone. Easy to use and with everything you need to get started right out of the box, the Gemini 2 is for beginners and experienced makers alike. From scrapbooking and home decor to handmade cards, quilting and everything in between, Bring your creativity to life with the Gemini 2. 
Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Tune in to Crafters TV every day to take a look at your crafty collection, make something unique or try a new technique. Join the team for seven days of creative tutorials from ink pad inspiration and sparkle pen magic to paper pad perfection and foil press techniques. We'll show you how to make the most out of your whole crafty collection. With a new show launching every day from the 5th to the 11th of June, there are seven opportunities to craft your stash with us. So tune in at 2pm in the UK, 9am Eastern Time and 6am Pacific Time to get involved. I think that's really exciting. It's something a little bit different, isn't it, next week? All about crafting your stash. As we said, get to the back of those cupboards, back of those storage boxes, open up the doors that you've not opened for a while, get to the back of the drawers and see what you've got. And hopefully we can inspire you to really get crafting with uh, everything that you've got already. Now, one of the things we're trying to inspire you with today is the shimmer sprays. These are absolutely gorgeous. Now, remember how quickly we sold out of our shimmer ink pads when they launched. I think these are going to go a very similar way. Now, I've put up the board and I've put the bottles in front of you because I want you to see how much you're going to get and how gorgeously sparkly they are. Now, you're going to get 10 50 ml bottles and each of them the suspension in them is just full of that mica i have seen shimmer sprays before and they usually separate don't know what magic um, Leanne has um, weaved over these, but the mica will just sit in that suspension until you're ready to use it. Now, we're gonna, you're going to be getting on the board here, you're going to get ice silver, gold dust, sunset bronze, sorry, I can't remember them without checking, deep seashell pink, firelight sparkle, golden sunflower, summer meadow, celestial map, royal velvet and golden heather now don't they look different on white as opposed to on black they look amazing and i'm just going to lift this board and give it a little wiggle can you see that mica look oh there we go look at that now all of the mica is gold in each of the color apart from obviously the iced silver which is your silver mica but you can see even though you can see those colors i'm looking at the black ones particularly where it really makes it pop it looks pops on the others too but you get that color that sort of that water um water medium color that the, then the mic is just held in suspension in absolutely gorgeous you're going to get all 10 bottles now these are going to launch on the 19th of june with our leanne she's going to be supported with ben and she's going to make sure there are tutorial videos ready for the launch she's going to give you all the hints and tips she's going to show you lots of techniques but another, I know another lady that's going to show us some more in a minute, but we'll have a quick look at that. I don't know who that is, Nicola. No idea. We'll, we'll drag someone in to do that. We'll find someone. Someone who might be walking past. Right, before we do we'll that, find I'm going someone. to quickly show you our Weekend Wonder. Every Saturday morning at 11am, we launch a Weekend Wonder, and it lasts until minute before 11 a.m. on a Monday morning when we then launch our pick of the day. So today's Weekend Wonder is all about card and paper. These are your consumables. You're always going to need more consumables. So what you're going to get in here is you're going to get your mixed um, cardstock in the gold, which is, um, no, there, there we are. Where am, I, where am I looking for this? This one is actually the A4 luxury cardstock in gold. So that should be $9.99. You're going to get your... Um, your sorbet um summer sorbet pad now it should be this is summer sorbet it is the die cut gift bag 
pad so you're going to get that one in there absolutely gorgeous all of your die cut bags are ready to be made up inside there you're going to get your plaid pad in the 12 by 12 and this is what i was looking for you're going to get your 12 by 12 mixed card pack in the sparkling silver so you're getting um half of it is in your encapsulated glitter and half of it is in your pearlescent now those are what you're going to be paying for and what you're going to get for free you're saving 15.95 because that is where you are going to get your mediterranean dreams and a little bit more because that's 14.99 so you're getting the mediterranean dreams and a, and a couple of pages of your silver as well that's absolutely free so this is working out 29 pence per sheet of cardstock for miri cardstock for die cut bags for that gorgeous mixed cardstock in the silver and your plaid pads as well 29p so today's price is 55 pounds or 65 dollars and your plastic price right down there 44 pounds or 52 dollars that is amazing value you are always going to need paper and card if you are into your um, paper crafting so it's you know it's going to get used you know it will always be used so make sure you pick that up don't forget that will that offer will expire one minute to 11 on monday morning now michelle is looking ready so nicola set a challenge and said if you were watching this, this is what she said at half time michelle's busy getting a demo ready and nicola went if you were watching what would you want to see Nic uh, michelle and michelle said all of it and Nicola says, well, you've got to show one technique that you would really like to see. So hopefully this is a technique that Michelle would really like to see. Yes, I would. I'm not I, sure I, if I'm <laughs> supposed to tell them all that, but I did. No, so there we go. I actually said all of it and now. So I will try <laughs> all of it straight away. So what I thought for this one, um, to again, show you the difference. I've just got a piece of black card and I've got a piece of white card and I've just got my gold. So mine's decanted, but I have used the gold dust. Now, again, um, remembering that when I'm done, I need to go wash all my nozzles out, which not a problem. Some nice warm water uh, sorts that out, no problem. So I'm going to just use this gold and you can see how beautiful it just sits on there. So you can put as much on as you want, as little on as you want, depending again on what effect that you are looking for. All I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that little bit of gold and I'm just going to dry it off. So again, I'm just using my multi-purpose. I'm not using any specialist card. Um, I have found that I've had no problems with this at all. Um, once I've spritzed on there and you've dried it off, um, there's, there's been no warping, no anything. So you can absolutely use your watercolour card, especially if you're going to be using maybe your water reactive inks and you want to do a faux bleaching on your background before you add these on. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, use your watercolour card. Then sometimes I like to use the watercolour card just for the texture because it's got such a beautiful texture on there. Sometimes I use it just so I've got that lovely background texture on. I so think I've had about four questions come through. I'm going to let you finish with this demo just so that people who are sent in questions don't think I'm ignoring them. When um, this demo has been finished, I'm going to come ask Michelle lots of questions because they're all, all questions around the shimmer sprays. OK, Michelle, so uh, we we'll come back there. I just don't want people to think we're ignoring their questions, but I'll let Michelle carry on with this. So these are dried beautifully. Um, if you, you know, whenever you add your heat tool to this, it's going to, you know, give your card some wiggle. Uh, allow it to dry. If you're bothered about it, put um, put your plates on, put a heavy book on top, and then once it cools down and it dries, it's going to dry lovely and flat. But you've got to remember, once you glue this and stick it onto whatever project, it's going to stick on and glue on flat anyway. Right. So that's on my black and that's on my white. And look, it turns the whole card um, glittery and mica-filled for both of them. Look, you almost get different colours coming through with that. You almost get like a, a, a red, like a burnt orangey. So anyway, so that's then. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring in this. So this is my golden heather. And I'm going to pop some of this on my mat here. 
and then I'm going to bring in my stencil and I'm just going to pop that over here just going to use one of my normal um, ink daubers with that pad on the bottom just going to pick some ink up and I'm just going to go over my stencil and because it's that um, foam on the bottom it's going to pick up and soak up lots of that lovely ink so let's finish this whole thing off just go away. if you've got if you're using your smaller finger darbers and you want to do the leaves on this a different color you absolutely can loving that because it's because it's on my glass mat there's no urgency to use it it sounds like we were invaded by seagulls <laughs> it did didn't it the seagulls are back <laughs> So you can see where I put way too much ink on there. Still doesn't really matter, but as I've got, uh, as I've used um, used it up, it's stenciled beautifully. So let's pop that there and let's go over this gold. So again, picking that. What did I say? I'd used the golden heather. So picking the golden heather up. I uh, I was expecting golden heather to be have more of a purple to it it's nice yeah it's a, it's a sort of a red heather isn't it it is it is so i'm just going to go over i'm gonna oh yes it's doing what i wanted it to do <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep going let's make sure because i'm onto that gold um it's a little bit harder for me to see what i'm doing and where i'm going let's pick the rest of that up and then look all the way to the top. Should you keep those daubers specifically for that now going I forward? I would, yes, yeah. definitely. So, can you see those roses? Oh, on wow, there yes. Then? Subtle, but really effective. Very subtle. So, it's exact, so it's the same uh, effect as that, but, but what it yes. tends to do on the gold is it just brings all that gold, all that mica, up and you get those roses I think you can see it on that bottom one better can't you yeah absolutely so beautiful you get the most amazing so I brought this one in as well if you spray a little less gold on there your rose is going to stand out a lot more yeah but you're going to be able to do that with all the colors try all your different colors create the background and it's all it's not lifting per se for the gold it tends to bring all that gold together on the black but on the the white it's just it just looks stunning so again don't forget that you can use it with your ink darbers from yeah. off your mat you don't just have to spray through your stencil because obviously spraying through your stencil if I bring these in again uh, it's not as controlled and you can see that you've got almost like a stippled effect yeah if you want it to look like that then you're going to be able to pick it up off your mat and you're not going to lose any of that glitter any you're of not, that you can see that the mica. whole card it's it's come like our ice white um centura pearl hasn't yes. it yes yeah or snow white is that the right word snow yeah. white centura yeah. pearl the hint of gold that's what it's reminding me of so yeah but, um, absolutely perfect. so yeah definitely so just another way i wanted to show you that you can still use these thank you right okay i'm going to fire some questions at you they're all shimmer pad um shim, shimmer spray so um oh there we go right mary pat 1000 says can't wait for this inkwell chick says do they fade no so they're a strong i think what you mean no. is when they when you put them down and they're wet they look one colour. When you've dried them with a heat gun, do they look paler? I don't think they do, do no, they? No, I they don't think they go paler. Yeah. In fact, I think once you've dried it, I think it really makes that, especially the mica, yeah. pop even it does. more. Yeah, so there you go. It's almost like reverse fade in Quell Chick. Um, Zoe Carver says, OK, must have missed it, but are the sprays diluted with water in the misters that you had? So you know the misters. That's no. pure, just decanted. So, I purely just decanted it into these um for one it gives it a different um effect um and i think i mentioned about the nozzles um they get clogged they're going to get clogged it's got mica in it there's no way around any spray bottle getting clogged because of the mica and the pure amount of mica that we've got in these 
it is just, Leanne's words to me was, it's the nature of the beast and you couldn't describe it any better way. Um, you're gonna wash your nozzles in some warm soapy water. You're gonna be fine. Yep, perfect. Emily says, ooh, like the acetate idea. Right, Sweet Imp says, dumb question alert. No, there are no, no. dumb questions. What if I use this spray with our aqua pens, like when we scribble on a glass mat, instead of dipping in water, I match colours with my pens? So, lots of questions. So I think what she's saying is, can she pick them up you know when you put it onto the mat and then you picked it up with a paintbrush? Yeah. Could you pick it up with, I think, she, does she mean water brushes? Or the sparkle pens? Yeah, you absolutely. You wouldn't, want to pick, you wouldn't need to pick it up with the sparkle pens because you've no. already got sparkle, haven't you? No. But I think if you did the water brush, you know a brush that you fill with water? Yeah. That would work too, yes. wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But aqua pens, if you wanted to... So is she suggesting to create the back? Sorry, sweetie, we're trying to answer your question. Unless she means, you know how you used ink pads to create the background? Yeah. What if you coloured with your aqua pens, your regular aqua pens, and then went over the top with the mic, with the, right, with yes, the spray okay, so, off your mat as well? Yeah, That's so. just good. Because it says, I colour match with my pens. So if she found an aqua pen that matched the golden heather, drew with it and then went over the top with the with the golden heather that would work as well wouldn't yes. it yes yeah yeah i, I think hope we've ma answered that yeah these are water based your aqua pens are water based so they're going to work together yeah uh, absolutely fine so yeah if if we've answered it <laughs> let if us not, know if, if we not, haven't please please come back yeah. with a bit more detail so uh, you know so we know melanie d says does the shimmer set onto the card permanently once it's dry meaning will it rub off onto my hands if i touch it you've got mucky hands <laughs> <laughs> That's from using it, but what this if is you've from got a dry using it. One, I've got. Let me bring in one from yesterday that's nice and dry, or from earlier. Oh, um, rub the back of your that, hand over it or something. No, it's not coming off. I think once this has dried, it's, it's dry. not going anywhere. But you do look pretty in the meantime. But it's water based. Yes. Yeah. So it will just wash off. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, obviously, I guess if you wet that it's going to be reactive to water isn't it to a, to a certain point yeah so now here's the thing so you know when you've got your background with your aqua pens and you do the faux bleaching or with your um you know your inks and you do the faux bleaching i've tried to do it on this so i've splashed my water on these afterwards and it doesn't bring it up Right. Doesn't give the foam. So once it's dry, it's dry. So once it's dry, it's dry. I'm gathering it's because of the mica that it stops it from giving you being able to do the faux bleach effect. So even when you've splashed water on it, it's not bringing it back up. It's not bringing anything off. So I think once it's dry, it's it's not going anywhere. That's, use, that's useful for you to know that. Yeah, that's a useful one for you to know. <laughs> Michelle with water everywhere. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> You're never going to live that one down. <laughs> they no. play, they, if they can play out about my dress three times a day, <laughs> then I can live you about spilling water. So, yes, there we go. And yes, my clothes are, George. Don't worry, you haven't asked me, but they are all the right way around today. <laughs> I did check. I think. I think. Susan, I know, I thought the other day, didn't I, when my second dress was inside out, I thought that was the right way and it wasn't. Um, Susan <laughs> Schickler says, I need an addition on my house. My paper pads are taking over. Now, you need to talk to Jan. Jan reckons she'd got her her actual height in paper pads. Oh, wow. Yes, there we go. Um, Sue Cummings is looking forward to when the shimmer sprays are available, but she says, and hello from a very warm Chester town in Maryland. Hi, Ooh. Sue. Uh, Beth Valone says, I swore I didn't need any more supplies, but I think I was wrong. Yes, yes I'm oh, sure definitely. Lillian Quatt thought the seagull was outside her window. <laughs> Lillian Drew Hot loves that. Um, Sweet Imp says, with a paintbrush. Defo, Defo answered, thank Thank you. I'm too long-winded. So I think basically what she, was, I think we've answered her Shut question. Up. Something to do with it about uh, paintbrush, but she's we don't, we're not. Yeah, Nicholas says we don't know how, but we definitely have answered it. So there we go. As long as we've answered it, sweet Tim. If we haven't, or you think of anything else, then come back in. We've got 
another 45 to 50 minutes left um, so please get your questions in but in the meantime I just want to show you something else that um, was on last week really really something that you want to consider getting into your um, your crafty stash this is all about the um, your card bases so if you think about your card bases if you want instant card bases then this is what you want now this is a brilliant showstopper you're going to get six different designs of, sh of card bases and their matching um, envelopes 24 in each giving you 144 card bases 144 envelopes we're going to give you two topper pads each with 15 sheets and each sheet has four different sets of um, decoupage on that 120 decoupage elements we're going to give you two packs of foam pads one's a sheet and one's a bundle i think and then two of your bottles of your multi-purpose glue wow it takes longer to say what's in it and that today is 80 pounds or 110 dollars saving you 26.88 or 34.48 but look at that 64 pounds or 88 dollars if you're platinum so that is an amazing deal but can i show you i've got the card base shapes here so i want to show you these so these are really really useful card shapes if you want to be making things like this like your trifold shutters what you're going to get is you're going to get your card base and now you can't really you can just see there are score lines in there and cut lines across there so all your cuts you don't have to work out where your score lines are and i promise you that when you start to fold these they score and fold so square i haven't had one and i've made quite a lot of these i've done a few shows and i've never made one of these up where they've not they've not look at that i mean it's perfectly square everything lines up absolutely every time now mats and layers we're then going to give you the stencils to do all the mats and layers that is going to last far longer than your 24 card bases so you're going to be able to keep on using those double stepper i keep saying i don't know why this is called double stepper because it double steps either side and it double steps backwards so i don't know which the double stepper refers to um yeah i get myself really tied up now again on this one we're also going to give you an extra element on your stencil so that you can create a topper but that topper is perfectly sized for lots of your other card bases so if you were on the trifold shutter and you wanted to add a topper on here this one is going to fit on there as it will on lots of them as we go through it, that um, topper also fits on your rocker um, circle rocker is that what it's stepped rocker that's one that's called so you've got that one there so that there you can see where the card base is all the cuts are done now all of your mats and layers are done with that as well to create that effect then you have got this one which is your step card i really love this one this to me it's perfect for lots of things but can you imagine building blocks for a baby card whether it's a new baby or a first birthday anything with that that sort of building block look will look brilliant now look at how many mats and layers you're getting with that through your stencil absolutely brilliant cut them with your scissors use your guillotine where you can that's up to you this one is your double diamond fan fold yeah that's easy to say isn't it so this folds back just like that i have to get this there we go that's going to fit there we go look at that so it fits like that now every one of these will fit into the envelope we're going to give you the appropriate sized envelope for this you might be able to fold you might know a clever template to be able to do that are you going to get all of the mats and layers right are you going to get the right diamonds and then all of these little ones on here because look at that you're getting everything on there for your mats and layers and then finally the sixth one is your cascading zigzag card and again i've seen people very cleverly work out how to do their cascading card but look at the angles that you are going to need both internally and out externally out externally externally <laughs> <laughs> oh your mats and layers 
I'm going to, yeah, fluent in English by the end of the day, Nicholas says. There we go. So you're going to get your card base. This one comes in two pieces to create that zigzag effect. And then you're getting all of your mats and layers as well. Now, that's just the card base. This is a vast collection. You're also going to get your topper pads. Now, I've not got a copy of the topper pads here, but I can show you. You're going to be making things like this. Oh, I did this one in the show. These look like all mine here. Um, I put lots of the floral elements just on that one. Oh, do you remember I said about the stepper card? That's not mine, that's being done. You can see how perfectly they work for that. Oh, I've got a boy and a girl coming on friends but babies soon, so I need to get busy. You've got your boat. I made that one as well, yeah. I'm not picking out mine, I'm just picking out where they come out. I've got my stepped rocker. Now somebody's put a circle one over the top, but remember I said the other one came on there. We've got so many different designs. Um, no, that's not the top of pads. I'm trying to find ones with the topper pads on. That's the card shapes. Oh, I think that's, I think that is probably about it. Oh, oh. then you've got your sunflowers on there as well. Uh, there we go. So we're going to see if we can find the pads to show you for later. But it's absolutely brilliant how they match together. And don't forget, you're also going to get foam pads and glue as well on those. Like I say, platinum price today, £64 or £88. So there's loads there. Okay, um, Sandra Dundas has another question for you before you get going. And I think, again, I probably know the answer to this. She says, if I put some onto a palette and it dries, you know, like we get like little artist palettes, those oh, plastic yeah, yeah, yeah. ones, those white plastic ones, and it dries, can I reactivate it to use with a wet brush? Um, I think you probably can, because those palettes yeah. you usually can. Y yes, I would imagine so, because again, these are water-based, uh, mm. I would imagine adding water is a, it's going to reactivate it, so um, I would say, I'll say yes, but... Um, it's one of those that you'd have to have a go with. Uh, and Try again, not to leave it on your palette is the answer, Well, isn't yeah, it? you're not going to leave it on your palette because there's no way you're going to do that. You're going to be using it, even if the, the cake in the ovens, you know, got flames, you're going to be like, nope, I'm playing with my shimmer inks. Uh, you're just, you're going to be so distracted that you're not even going to know. So you're definitely not going to leave it to dry. But don't forget, when Leanne launches these, she's got some videos coming out of... of you know all this fabulous stuff that Leanne does and she's going to be doing the launches so you're going to have lots lots more um well you're going to be able to ask Leanne everything you're going to have lots more demos lots more ways to use these so um this is just the first look so again any of those questions when you actually can buy them pop the question into Leanne yeah. and she'll but I think it probably would know. reactivate to a point to a point to a point yeah like, you might find the mic the water the the carrier will definitely reactivate I'm pretty certain it's whether the mica will reactivate yeah. that might start to stay so just be careful okay so oh I'll quickly show you this our Nicola ran out of the gallery ran round and she found me the board so that you can actually see what you're getting on these topper pads because remember you're going to get 120 of these toppers so you're going to get what was it 30 of no it's not of each about 15 of each there we go so you're going to get the um sailing ship you're going to get the hot air balloon you're going to get your florals your sunflower and these gorgeous roses you're going to get these gorgeous purple flowers i recognize those but i don't know what they are and then a different sort of rose bouquet i love these ones with the blue background with the pinks and the purples they look gorgeous you get teapot the little teddies with the so it's got a heart in the middle, or flowers in the middle. You're going to get the little gnomes with the clouds and balloons. And finally, the hummingbird. 15 of each, because you're going to get five sheets. And there will be 10 of each. 10 of each, that's right. There's 12 different ones. Think it through, Corinne. 12 different ones. So you're going to get 10 <laughs> of each of those toppers. But you don't have to use the whole layer. If you want to, you can just use single layers as well to make them go even better further so that was that deal right now i can see michelle's set up i can see different color shimmer sprays all there ready so what's your next technique you're going to show us um so the next technique is well, i'm going to show you again a, a different way how to use these so what i've done is i've brought in this so again you're going to be bringing in stuff that you've already got um in your stash at home so One these are those i love these 
I, they are just one of my favourite all-time dies, I think. So I've already got mine cut out, so you can see uh, there's six, uh, six RA in this collection, lots of different flowers. I've picked this one because this is my, I just, I love it. I love this particular flower. So I've die cut mine out already. You can see that mine's already got a load of glitter on, but that's from what I was doing with it. Um, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. I'm not going to stick it down. So again, I'm going to bring in my stick and spray because I just want to temporarily stick this down. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the back and then I'm going to place it on my piece of card exactly where I want it to be. And that's going to stay where I need it to. And then, yes, yeah, so I have got, um, I've got my summer meadow, I've got that deep seashell pink and I have got this golden sunflower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some on here. So that is the um, gorgeous yellow. A little bit of red. Oh, it's pink, sorry. And then some green. So let me bring in, um, pop those to the side. Um, so again, I've got, my, I've got my lid back on. We're safe this time. So all I'm going to do is I've got my wet uh, paintbrush, which I've just dabbed a little bit off with, and I'm going to bring in, let, let me see if I can just find my other brush, another really fine pointed one, here it is, let me use this one. So I'm going to use this one, I'm, I like that point a little bit better just for what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to pick up some of that ink and we're just going to lay it down. Now, even though I am colouring with these, it does not get rid of any of that shimmer, any of that mica. But the fact that you can colour with these is just absolutely brilliant because you're going to be able to like this, bring stuff in from your stash that you wouldn't necessarily mm -hmm. be able to use the shimmer spray with in a stereotypical way. You see, I thought you were going to spritz through. Yeah. Completely, completely throw me. It wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, of course you could absolutely spritz through. Of course you could. Um, How but, little are you using? So, so, uh, hardly any. You just, I'm picking up the tiniest little bit um, because for one, you don't need to use lots. And... But if you went back in with another layer of that stripe, it's going to intensify the yellow colour, yes. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm just going to, I'm doing this a little bit quicker than I normally would if I was at home. It would take a lot more time. But again, you don't really need to take a lot of time because you can see that it's coming together beautifully. So I'm going to pop that yellow in here. So, and again, not picking up much at all. I want to make sure I'm getting right to those edges though. I'm going to bring in a little tiny little bit of that pink and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that yellow and hopefully I'm going to get like a nice orange. So you know you're going to be mixing the, these together um, as well as using them on their own. So you've got your little glass mat you're going to use it as a little palette. Let me get that colour off. And we're going to pick up some green going to do the same with all my foliage bits, my leaves, my foliage bits. And again, it's, um, I'm not picking up a lot because again, I'm using my multi-purpose, is it multi-purpose card or all-purpose? Multi-purpose. Multi I cannot get that in my head. It just will not stay. So, Oh, question. Quick question from Sheena the other day. If you could rename Dull Green, which is one of our um, tri-blend pens, to a better name, what would you rename it to? Did she get any suggestions, Nicola? Olive Green, yeah. Essential Green. Oh, they were apparently the most popular. It is a bit of a... A bit of a rubbish name for something, isn't it? I know it's obviously it's to describe it. all the time. I love the dull green yeah. that I blend. Yeah, me too. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop my heat gun on it for a second uh, just to make sure that it's nice and dry. I'll not do them both 
just I'll finish this bottom one off for you and then we're going to go back in and what I'm going to do is I've just wet my brush and I'm just going to mix a little bit of that pink with that yellow to get myself a nice orangey colour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that off because there was way too much on there. And again, just going to bring in a little bit and we're just going to highlight. Depth. Yeah. So you can layer these up, the colours. You can make your own colours and then you can layer them as well. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, it's on your glass mat or it's in whatever um, you use for this kind of technique. So it's going to stay there and it's going to sit nice and wet for long enough for you to be able to do this. So again, one of my most favourite things to do and the fact that we can now do it with my shimmers, my shimmer inks, just makes them such a necessity, I think, for your stash. Because I can't get over those dyes. I just love those. So every time I see a different technique with those dyes. Just lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let me take that off. Let's bring in a little bit of that pink. Let's try and pop a bit of a, a highlight just round there. And then just with a little bit of water, just blend it out just a little. And then let's go back in on them leaves. I'm just going to pick a little bit more of the same green up. And we're just going to add a little bit more to certain areas just to darken it up. So what you're saying there, you can build those layers up, build up the intensity of that colour, can't you, and really make absolutely. it pop. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And again, I'm using our multi-purpose card, um, and it's taking these beautifully. I'm not getting no warpage or anything like that. I think as long as you are not saturating it, which you can absolutely see I'm not doing, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm drying in between each... Um, layer of colour that I'm popping on. I bet it's not taking much to dry though because you're doing it so thin layers aren't you? It's definitely the better way. Yes. Is go, even if you have to go around two or three times, go less is more and yeah. build it up. You're going to bring in more mica in this, you're going to, you know, just make it look so much better. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's finish those couple off there. And then let me just swirl that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some of this iced silver. I got it correct that time. Just going to pop a tiny little bit down there. And what I'm going to do is over my sort of highlight that I've left on my leaf. In fact, let me just quickly blast it. But I think that's nearly dry. But I'd rather it be fully dry than go over it and risk ruining it. So you can see it's not taking long to dry off at all. So where I've sort of left that highlight, I'm just going to come in with a little bit of this um, iced oh, I see silver. What you're saying, yeah. And I'm just going to brush it over that middle just bit. Just so that you don't get bare white, effectively. Yeah. yeah, it's going to make sure that it's all sparkly. And again, I could mix a little bit of that with a little bit of the yellow if I wanted that... Um, highlight that I've preserved to be um, so if I just let me take down a little bit of that and add it and it's really just it's going to water it down just that little bit more and it just really pops that edge off so you're going to be using these like your watercolouring. You're just going to keep going back. So if I'm not happy with that or I need to add a little bit more, I'm going to come back in and I'm just going to go to the bottom and I'm going to add that little bit extra that I need to. It takes as long as you want with these, but that just looks so curved, doesn't it? I think the sparkle is helping as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So let's add it just a little bit more on there. And then if I want to just bring my wet brush in and blend it in a little bit. So I'm not going to finish that second one off because there's a, a, something else I want to show you before we finish. All I'm going to do is my lemon tonic. We're just going to bring that in. We're going to take that starkness away from the edge. So you well, always... do this with your um, new duet ink pads as well, couldn't you? Yes, I love those. They are, I've got those tomorrow, haven't I, on a craft along. I absolutely love those. Um, but before I take that off, 
Um, absolutely not going to waste that. So I'm going to bring in again one of my spare pieces of card. I've got them all over um, that I'm going to pick that ink up with. So let's just... Uh, where's my brush? We're just going to swoosh it out. In fact, you could mix these together if you wanted colour-wise to get, a, again, a different sort of blend. But if we swoosh those out and we sort of pick them up, um, if we're a bit more particular about where we're going colour-wise, you know, to build up your background however you want. Make sure that we don't waste any of that. And then if you think, well, actually, that didn't blend very nicely with that. I don't like that particular bit. You're going to be using that particular bit to die cut a flower mm -hmm. out, that to die uh, cut some leaves out, and then that middle bit. Just add something else. Add some more ink once it's dried. But you're going to end up with so, so many amazing, amazing backgrounds. So what we're going to do is I can leave that on. I love I that. I think that looks beautiful on, but I knew where you were going with yeah. it. I think that looks absolutely stunning. So I'm going to bring it off. Oh, wow. And you've got that lovely stenciled effect. Now, now that is off, again, what I could do is come in, pick some more of that white up. I know I've got none there, but I could add some more um, effects if I wanted to. You know, if I wanted to make those pop a little bit more or make it a bit more solid. But what? the reason that I use that is you've got that beautiful stenciled flower look. Look at how that shimmers. With Isn't that, that absolutely with, gorgeous. With that second one on top, this is the one that I did yesterday. Uh, again, I went totally deeper with this one. But you can see how it's finished. But just an amazing, amazing way to use these, um, these amazing stents, uh, the shimmer inks as a stencil, two stencil. Um, I just love them. Can you tell? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Rhonda says, I have loads of echinacea in my garden. The butterflies love them. Where are your base, Rhonda? Because our echinaceas are growing, but there's not even a flower head on the top of oh. ours. I think ours are, yeah, Rhonda Crowley. Oh, she's in New York. Uh, different, we think she's in New York, different weather. I know, because normally, first week in June, my husband does a Chelsea chop on them, and he hasn't done that this year because they're not ready. Um, so, yes, yeah, so ours have not even got flower heads on, but yes, absolutely beautiful. Sandra Dunder says, I'm loving this, Michelle. I have these dyes, and we'll be ordering the shimmers on the 19th. This is so me. Oh, there you go. Rhonda Perfect. is near Chicago. Different weather. That's why she's, uh, she's got her echinaceas already. Now, we're going to give you a little bit of time to, to digest all that Michelle has um, shown you while we give you a little um, video all about CTV. Welcome, Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in, should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? Looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes. And I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. Going to give a shout out to our backstage hero, and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. 
it's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having drink water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Hello crafters, we've got some really exciting news in the works here at Crafters Companion. So, I've dug out my hard hat and I've popped down to our UK warehouse to give you the lowdown. Now we do listen to you guys and we know that delivery times have been an issue for our crafty community. So, we're doing something about it. The team is getting ready to set up a new and improved state-of-the-art system right here in our global distribution hub. This new picking and packing facility means we'll be able to process orders and ship them to you faster and more efficiently than ever before. This means less time waiting for parcels to arrive and more time getting stuck into your next creative project. While we get this new world-class service up and running, there'll be a few temporary changes. So here's what you need to know. Our UK warehouse will shut down for a week while the team sets up the new system. Don't worry, you can continue to shop as normal on the Crafters Companion website. You'll just wait a little longer for your orders to arrive. US Crafters, listen up. We'll be able to send you guys some orders from our warehouse in California. These will be delivered as normal, so look out for this label on the site. If you're waiting for your parcel to arrive, don't worry, we'll keep you crafting. Join the Crafters TV team every day to find out how to make the most of your craft collection. With a different theme and tutorials every day, craft your stash with us to find fresh, creative inspiration in your paper pads, inks and more. Right, that's enough from me now. I'm gonna leave the guys here to get cracking. If you need any more info, head over to the Crafters Companion website and don't forget to tune in to Crafters TV. I'll see you there. I'm here and I'm sorting out through all this lovely crafty goodness. I love it when they give us these baskets and say, go and find some really lovely samples. It, we're just so, so lucky. We have such clever design team. We really, really do. Oh, there we go. I'm just having a look and find it. Oh, I want that one too. I want, oh, just want them all. Right. I'm going to show you some gorgeous floral panel creator cards that um, launched just yes, yesterday. Am I correct in that? Yesterday. Now, you're going to get four sets of dies and each set of dies are going to give you two different images but each pack comes with four dies because you're going to get the internal dies and the rectangle that goes around the out for each one so you're going to get four dies in here which is your foxglove look i'm going to show you some samples in a minute four for your roses can you see on here you've got a really floral one and a really foliage one the same with the foxglove floral and foliage Oops. Then you're going to get your Ecken, um, gerbera, again, lots of floral, and this isn't a really um, foliage one, so we just made the fo um, flowers a lot smaller. And then finally with your hellebore, absolutely gorgeous, big of flowers and the smaller flowers on here. And then you can see on here, so this is the hellebore. Now these are cut and embossed dies, and you can see as soon as you look at them, you can see the elements where they're going to emboss. So what you do is you die cut them, then you run them through your die cutting machine again with your rubber embossing mat on, that then raises up the elements. Then you can ink through them, or you can take them off and go in now, I think that's a gilding wax. Let me see, does it say, I'm not sure, does it say, it says, oh yeah, a gilding wax, a pink wax over the top of there. Then on the gerbera, this one has been inked, which looks beautiful, but this one has been coloured with our pens. This one has been coloured with, oh, our pencils, our blending pencils. Doesn't that look 
beautiful but if you want to you don't have to now these dyes those sprays how about making your background like this apparently this is what Craig made yesterday your background like that with your sprays so I guess you could spray it on your mat then put water on it to distribute it to get that effect couldn't you yeah that oh, would yeah, look definitely. absolutely beautiful so you, one color let it dry a second color otherwise you're going to end up with a muddy puddle yes, aren't you? yeah definitely yeah. and then cut it out in black all of them work there with uh, drop shadow so that has been inked oops looks beautiful with your gilding waxes because last week's demo of the show was our um jan when she did uh, becky made that one and jan did um a demo with it on the first look last week this one is a gorgeous shaker gonna look beautiful and this one here is a um step sort of a fold back card using our inks in the back imagine that with your new duet ink pads to do that now if you want all four sets to get all four flowers but eight different panels these are going to work out at 40 pounds or 50 dollars so basically five pounds five pounds five pounds five pounds all the way each one of these is going to come out at five pounds for your dies now just so that you know 4.9 4.7 4.9 so just under five inches by just under two inches they vary this is 1.9 that's 1.75 so let's just say five by two is an approximation of the size of each of these panels and by having them as two one two separate panels you can cut into your cardstock or you can cut out of your car stock really really versatile 32 pounds or 40 dollars is your platinum price so that's making each one of those even cheaper so that's making them at four pounds per die set instead of five so if you want those then we yeah, quickly get those really versatile i was showing those on hobby maker yes day before yesterday and I absolutely love them I love how you can use those as well so yeah so pick those up right we're going to go back to Michelle is that where we're going right what technique have you got now Michelle did say she's got about six or eight techniques so we're going to go through those oh uh, Rhonda says her echinaceas are not quite blooming but they're up and budding oh, and then said the card Becky made one demo of the day and Gilmore says pretty cards yeah absolutely gorgeous so I think the, I think there's another version of it up on the show she probably had one ready to show there we go so let's see the next technique then please Michelle <gasps> this is one of my favorites this is one of your favorites this is one of my favorites so again I've just picked three of my colors I've got the seashell pink I've got the summer meadow and oh, I've got really lovely colors yeah celestial maps they're all oh love there's not a color in here that i don't like so we're gonna spritz and i want to have a nice little pool of it in there so you can see that it's uh, wiggling about so i'm gonna i'm not gonna bend over and normally i just blow but i'm gonna use a straw so you haven't got my head in your way oh you need one of those puffers yeah i got one after, on jan's recommendation you know I've got one at home, but again, um, didn't have the forethought to bring it. So, could you do this on Yupo? I can't see why not. I would imagine it would dry lovely. Wouldn't that look brilliant on Yupo? Yeah. It would sort of spread. Yes, yeah, definitely. So, I'm going to spread that to as much as I want it. I want lots of clumps. I don't want it all blended mm -hmm. out. And then I'm going to dry it. And while so in you that case, you weren't trying to mist it. You were trying to get nice big blobs. A nice, blow. yeah, yeah, definitely. And then when you are drying it as well, it's going to add a little bit of movement. Yeah. But what it is that I'm doing is I'm wanting those deeper areas, those, um, you know, less bold areas. So let's just, and you can see it doesn't take too long to dry. Obviously, those bits where it's pulled a little bit, it's going to take a bit longer to dry, but then it does, it goes. So let's just turn that round and get those bits. I'm doing these one at a time. I'm going to add a couple of, obviously, more colours, but I'm going to do them one at a time because I don't want the colour to mix um, with each well, other. Well, they're water-based, aren't they? So you're just going to, they're just going to blend, and if you're, not, if you're using the wrong combination, you're, no. just, you're just going to create muddy puddles, aren't you? That's it. 
That's it. So let's add some green here. And again, I've got that nice puddle on there. You can just wiggle it about like that if you want. If you don't, if you don't want to, or you don't have the ability to, um, you know, be blowing these about your pages. As you wiggle it up, just use your brush to get sort of effect, though, aren't you? help it along. Yeah, but you're going to get totally different effect as to what I want. Let me add a little bit more because I know I need a bit more on there. And again, I'm going to use my straw. Oh, I like how you've overlapped that. Yeah. You need to uh, overlap them. They do look lovely, but you can see the red comes through, you see. Mm -hmm. It looks a little bit like a chicken there. I'll tell you what would look really good. Put these on a piece of card and put it in, in the centre of a salad spinner and spin them. <gasps> yes. That would look an amazing effect. So I think, I'm, I'm, I think we'd be across if I used our salad spinner for that. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the splodge that I've got. So we're going to dry this one. Um, and again, it's going to move it about a little bit, but it's going to dry it. I'm quite happy with that. The good thing is, um, if you're not quite happy with how it's gone, give it a dry, add a little bit more ink, or add a little bit more ink when it's you know still wet. Mm -hmm. Um, you, the, the brilliant thing is you're just going to be able to keep adding and adding. And you can see on the edge, on that one, that really shines gold. Yeah. Where you've almost bleached out the green and you've just left that mica behind. Yeah. It, uh, around the edges and things like that, it really pulls, it collects, and it just, it is absolutely... I cannot, well, you can. You've, you saw me today and yesterday how covered I am just with how much mica is in there. It's just unreal. So, last one. You can do this, obviously, with any colours that you want. It's highly up to you. I'm just going to put it where I sort of want it to go. So you've done quite sort of what I call primary, I know, yeah, green's not primary, but you've done quite primary contrast colours. Yeah. But you could go more, like your blue, your yellow and your green, blend them together, your sunset bronze, your seashell pink and your firelight sparkle and, you know, more of the same colour families, couldn't you, whatever you you're doing there? Absolutely could. I'm making sure that I'm... I'm blowing it all over because I, what I want to see is almost lines, almost those veins. Um, I love that gold, sort of the, where the blue through. and the red is overlapping, I'm yeah. seeing so much gold coming through. Yeah, yeah. And each time you do this, you're obviously going to get a totally, totally different effect and result. And each time, it's individual pieces of artwork. Some of these you could just frame and pop on your wall. Let's finish that last little bit off. So, so all nice and dry. So I'm going to have a look at that and I'm going to see if I'm happy with it. Uh, I am. If I wanted to add, so say just for instance, I wanted to add a little bit more to the green. Let's just give it a spritz because what it's going to do, it's going to add those sort of lines, those edges that I'm wanting. So let's just blow it. I don't know where you're going with this, but I'm thinking once that's dry, you could then just do really fine mists over it so that you don't get the white background. Yeah, yeah, you could absolutely do that. So let's dry this last little bit, because you can see adding more on top, it doesn't affect it in any negative way. It just adds more. It just looks amazing. So let me just finish drying that last bit. I don't bit know off. where you're going with this, and I'm getting loads of ideas. I'm <laughs> 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 what I want to do. I want to come home and go, and you can do this, and you can do that. Yeah. You can tell when we love these, because, yeah. That's it. Oh, that's absolutely it. So I'm quite happy with that now. I think that looks lovely. It looks absolutely beautiful. I could spray over it with the gold. I could spray over it with that ice white. Um, I could bring in some gilding flakes. Ah, I thought that might be where you were going. So we're absolutely going to bring in some gilding flakes. I'm going to go with my gold. 
So very much like if you've ever done the, um, on the UPO paper with your alcohol inks, you get that beautiful spread that, again, if you've got your little blower or you're using your straw, we can't do that here because it's water-based. My gilding flakes aren't going to stick to it like they do the alcohol um, inks. So we're going to fake it. You know what they say, fake it till you make it. So any of your glue pens that you've got, so I've got this one, you can use any, whichever you want. And that's why I wanted to make sure that I've got all that movement on there, all that, um, mm -hmm. those edges that I can go around with my uh, glue pen. And it's gonna give me that faux effect. Do you know, we look at these, you look at these, some of these samples that some of our clever design team come in, and you think, how on earth have they achieved that? Yeah. Well, this is how you achieve it. You fake it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. Some of the ways to do stuff. So you're very... just picking up where it's sort of darker and overlapping. And... Yeah. I'm just trying to do that. And I'm, I'm only going to do it a little bit at a time because I'm, want to, I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to see how it looks. And then we're going to do a little bit more. So I'm just going to pick up some of this. Oh, you are very, you're very um, constrained by doing with tweezers. I'd only get it out with tweezers and then I <laughs> go in with the fingers. Hence what I looked like yesterday. So I'm just going to dab all those areas where I think I've gone in with the glue. And I'm, I'm dabbing. I'm not going to rub hard because I don't want it to... Um, sort of come away. I'm going to try and get as much back in that part as I possibly can. It's not going to work, is it? As I possibly can. And then just bring in, just let me find my um, kitchen roll. And then we're going to, oh, we're going to try and not breathe. <laughs> don't sneeze, don't cough. Well, we're going to blow that then. No, don't blow. No. So it's coming together. Wow. I've got that lovely um, effect. So um, it feels very much there and there. So again, what we're going to do is we're sort of going to extend some of those out because it feels like it needs it. So put a third one there. And then we're going to go in again just with a little bit more. Uh, gilding flakes i think stephanie stephanie theodore says is this a psych test you know have a look at this image and tell me what you see yes. and then we can understand what how your brain works she said you crack me up michelle thank you i need a good laugh today well there you go well we're glad <laughs> this is what it's all about on crafters tv and um, stephanie is uh, it's all about that companionship that is beautiful. So you can see why I do a bit at a time because I'm going to look at that and I'm going to think, actually, I think that bit needs extending or I feel like I need to go around that there. And you're just going to add and add and add. But if I bring in the one that I did yesterday, so wow. you can see how each time you use it, you're going to get such a different look. For this one, I went in with my thinner um, yeah. glue pen. But you can see how each time you're going to get a totally different effect and it looks amazing. So it gives you that faux effect. But the fact that I've sprayed it straight onto there, you get that spray that comes out, mm -hmm. arterial spray that comes out. Uh, and each time, so, so different. Um, absolutely one of my favourite things to do. You know the top one, before you put the gilding flakes on, I wanted to put that echinacea back over the top. Yes. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. You yeah. know, that black die cut that you did. I yeah. think you laid that. Probably still looks lovely with the, with probably. the gilding so wax. Probably. You pop it over. You see, look, you see that, to me, is absolutely stunning. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there we go. It just, you absolutely could, works, doesn't it? So many things you can yeah. do with these. That's where, that's where I wanted to go. That's where I wanted to go. Demo of the century, Nicola's <laughs> saying. There you go. That's, that's your do. Right, a couple of questions for you before we go on to the next one. 
So, um, Tess says, these are pretty opaque in comparison to using alcohol inks for the same technique. Yep, that's what you, sometimes you don't want that intensity, you want that opaqueness, and it's going to let you see what's behind. Um, Laura Simmons thought, says, I always thought spin art was cool, you can find the spinning mechanism online. Then we had Stephanie's questions. Cheryl Whedon says, will these work on canvas? They're water-based, so I can't see. They'll go onto canvas, won't they? But they might not splodge with the... Yes, with the, I, I think... I can't see... It. I think you'd have trouble blowing them because I think the canvas would absorb it. it you know how that sat on your card yeah. so that you could blow it? It might not on a canvas. It depends what your canvas is treated with. Oh, if you yeah. Mod Podge or, you know, Gesso or whatever yeah. you do over them, then it might, but... I can't see why not. I can't see why not, no. And then, will these work with shaving cream? Yes. Yes, of course they will. Um, I don't know if I'd spritz per se. Um, but again, you'd have to have a try. You could spritz if you've got some li little pipettes. You know, you could oh, use that your pipette. Drop little have you colours onto on your there? shaving foam. Yeah. That would look lovely. Yeah. Crafty Angie says, these look great, Michelle. And Tess says, what a lovely idea for using up all those gilding plates. Have you got a pot, Tess? You, sound, you know the pots where you put all your brushings into that looks like that gorgeous mix of colour, maybe. Emily Sorico says, uh, oh, she wants to show how to use these with a thin glue pen. We've got a couple more bits to do. We'll have to see if we've got time to come back to that. But we'll see where we go with that because I just needed to show you something else. Our next deal that we've got today is, um, there we go. So we've got these, which are your hanging, your twirling animals. There you go. So we go, you're going to get your twirling sheep, your twirling pig and your twirling duck. That's easy to say, isn't it? And you're going to get 16 sheets of Nina cardstock absolutely <laughs> free. £23.97 or $29.85. And your platinum price is £19.18 or $23.88. So in your twirling elements, you're going to get the aperture die, you're going to get your stamps and your matching apertures. So you're going to get, you can see on here, you're going to be able to make your lovely little twirling elements and your little pig and your gorgeous little duck as well so yeah you're going to get all of those each one's going to give you the aperture and the um, dies and the matching stamp so there we are absolutely perfect right now um so where we are we're absolutely perfect so i'm going to disappear because i've got to go off and do some work on a different channel now so i'm going off to ho chanda and well i'm not going off to ho chanda i'm going next door <laughs> to <laughs> okay don't ruin the uh, the <laughs> i was the mystique nicola thank you <laughs> they go, don't, no i can't because liam's in here to frog march me into the next building <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into Studio 2 to beam into Hobby Maker for a couple of shows. So our Lily will be here in a little while to do your craft on. Craft Is along. It, oh, it's not a hand over on the side, just in case. Absolutely gorgeous using those nesting dies. So, yeah, please join in if you want to see that. We will be back, or they will be back at 6 p.m. So enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the inspiration that Michelle has shown you. If you love those shimmer sprays, don't forget to tune back in on the 19th of June. But until then, I'll be back tomorrow morning, so I'll see you then. Goodbye.